Hello, I'm Justin Grubb, and I'm standing in front of one of the rarest snakes in the world. The Aruba Island rattlesnake is considered to be critically endangered, but luckily, the Toledo Zoo has a conservation program working to help these animals in the wild. The Aruba Island rattlesnake is endemic to Aruba, and this means that this is the only place in the world that this animal is found. The rattlesnake gets its name from the rattle-like structure on its tail, believed to be used to warn predators of its location. Each of the segments of the rattle are called buttons, and the rattle is made entirely of dead skin, and every time the snake sheds its skin, it adds more buttons to the rattle. The noise comes from tiny pieces of hard skin shaking inside the larger hollow buttons of the rattle. Although typically regarded as cold-blooded, the rattlesnake is actually ectothermic, a term that means that they are unable to internally regulate their body temperature. The rattlesnake's habitat range is quickly diminishing because of tourist development on the island and because the rattlesnake directly competes with the boa constrictors, which are an invasive species on the island. To learn more about what the Toledo Zoo does to protect this animal, we turn to Andrew Odom. For 25 years, the Toledo Zoo has led the Aruba Island rattlesnake conservation effort, both here in the United States and in Aruba. We have become partners in the conservation of the snake. We helped develop the national park. We've provided an enormous amount of, of technical expertise on the island. When we do our field expeditions down to Aruba, we focus on a variety of, of projects. One is to look at what the boa constrictor is doing to the native flora and fauna of Aruba. About 15 years ago, the boa constrictor was introduced and its numbers increased. And nobody knew that whether or not this would be catastrophic to um, the Aruba island rattlesnake with this new animal competing with it. So we've been studying the boa to see what they eat, okay, to see if their diet has changed. But even more important, the other thing we're doing is we're monitoring just the fitness of the rattlesnakes themselves. We have a lot of data on the rattlesnake from before the boas arrived, and we are now acquiring new data to see whether or not the rattlesnake is having a, a hard time living on Aruba competing for food and, and other resources. And from all our studies, we actually have a better understanding of the Aruba Island rattlesnake, how it lives its environment than almost any other rattlesnake in the world. Uh, which is pretty incredible considering the Aruba Island rattlesnake is probably the rarest rattlesnake in the entire world. The Toledo Zoo has been the biggest supporter of the Aruba Island rattlesnake program on Aruba. We've provided technical expertise, but more important what we're providing for the Arubans is training. They need to be able to be responsible for uh, taking care of their wildlife they need to learn the expertise to do so. When you come to the zoo, you're helping to support the Aruba Island Rattlesnake program with tickets, with the beverages that you buy, with the add a buck program that we have, with the merchandise you buy, and with things like adopt an animal. Those are things that all support our mission and they do directly relate to the conservation of this animal. 